I'm sure that you are all aware that there are dozens and dozens of file formats for image data, right? The scientific imaging field has over 150 plus file formats. These are all developed by different vendors. So Leica's is distinct from Zeiss, which is distinct from Nikon, etc. Obviously, this presents a problem when it comes to the first step in most workflows, opening an image, as the metadata is read in differently for each proprietary format. ImageJ does its best to open as many file formats as possible. In short, there are two main ways images can be opened. The simplest built-in way is file open, or also using the drag and drop method. This option is fine for a quick look-see at your data. I'll show you now. So you can go to File, Open, and select your image file. Or, which is equivalent, you can drag and drop the image file directly on the status bar of Fiji. So you select the file and drag and drop to open. Again, this option is fine for a quick look-see at your data. It, prim it primarily uses TIFF files um, as, for example, file save will automatically save that image file as a TIFF format. But a word of caution, this does not work in every case. So if the data seems incorrect, or for example, the dimensions are mixed up or something doesn't seem right, move on to the next more sound and safe option, which is bioformats. Bioformats is a library for opening various file formats, so there is more support in handling different files and metadata. Personally, this is the method I use, especially if you're doing any sort of quantitative analysis. This is the window you'll see when you run bioformats. I'll show you now. So you go to File, Import, and then Bioformats or you can type bioformats in the search bar. We'll open that file, and this is the window you will see. If you move over the options in the window, you will see detailed descriptions for each in the information window. Just to note some helpful options. Display metadata is a great option, and that will display the metadata along with your image. Virtual stack um, is good to use with big data sets, but it's important to note you are not looking at the real data set when using this option. So any changes you make to the pixel data are not saved when you switch to a different slice. Virtual stacks are read only. So changes you make to the pixel data are not saved when you move to the next slice, for example. Another option is crop on import. Again, this is good for use with big plane images. So let's say that you have an entire H&E stained tissue slice, and maybe it's too big to open all at once. Therefore, you can crop a section of it just to open. And that's the bioformats importer. Now there is a third option as well for opening data, and that is Scipio. Scipio is a flexible framework for scientific image format input and output i.e. it's basically a library for reading and writing n-dimensional image data. You can go to File, Import Image to import an image in the ImageJ2 way via Scipio. I'll show you now. So again, if you go to File, Import, and then Image here at the bottom, this is using the Scipio way, and this is the window that will pop up. You can also go to edit, options, image J2, and you can use Scipio when opening files um, to enable the Scipio style imports by default. So then when you use file open and the drag and drop, Scipio will be used instead of the original image J way. There are many ben benefits to using Scipio as opposed to, regular the, to the regular built-in way for image J. There's a bioformats plugin for Scipio, which is included with the Fiji distribution of ImageJ2, and this adds automatic support for over, uh, over 100 life sciences file formats. Additional uh, Scipio file format plugins can also be easily added to your installation and will work automatically. 
And unlike image ImageJ's TIFF implementation, Scipio can successfully read many more sorts of TIFFs. It's important to note that Scipio is still in beta, so there is likely to be a higher incidence of bugs, and issues can be reported on the Scipio issue tracker.